How's it going guys? So we did cartoons reimagined as adults. Now we're gonna do cartoons reimagined as human beings. They're still gonna be animated, so it's not gonna be like realistic, but it's gonna be from cartoon animal to cartoon human being. I'm not gonna go through all of them, so if you guys wanna check out the whole thing, it's gonna be the first link in the description. But without further ado, let's check this out. All right, so we got Pumbaa and Taimin from The Lion King. Now, I guess, uh, I don't know, obviously Pumbaa will have a bigger build, but let's see how they're reimagined as humans. That is incredible. All right, so they gave Pumbaa a nose ring and a mohawk. What? Oh, it's the exact same hairstyle as before. With a t-shirt brand called the Kuna Matata. Just to sell it even more. And then Taimin is eating a jelly worm. I hope that's not a real worm. I think this is actually spot on. I'm gonna rate them from one to 10, how accurate I think these are. So I, I definitely give this one like almost a nine. I would say, yeah, I would give it a nine. All right, next we got Kung Fu Panda. Little chubby panda that's actually an amazing fighter. Now it's always interesting to see these characters reimagined as humans because naturally these are talking animals. So your brain automatically imagines them having human characteristics. All right, so this is before and this is after. <laughs> he looks like a Buddhist monk almost. But that's what I would expect because Buddhist monks, they're really good at fighting. They're just good at controlling energy in general. Now, how accurate was this? This one is definitely, it has to be over a nine. I, I would give this a nine and a half. Let's go back. Okay. The exact same head shape, same body build. Even the face looks almost identical. This one's very creative. I love it. He looks really American though. Like, I'm not gonna lie. So this one got nine and a half. Let's keep going. All right, this is Scratch from Ice Age. He was always determined to find that acorn, but he can never do it. I'm sorry, man. Now let's see what Scrat would look like as a human. I'm guessing he's gonna be really hairy. That's just a guess though. I don't know why I'm guessing that. And he's really hairy. He actually looks like, kind of looks homeless a little bit. No, he looks more like, what are those called? Anyways, I'm gonna rate this. Uh, it would probably be an eight and eight and a half. This one is not as accurate because the squirrel had a more crazy type of look, you know, like it was insane. And this guy actually looks very innocent, very chill. He doesn't look crazy enough, but everything else I think was nailed. This should have probably been younger. Scratch should have probably been younger as a human being. I think he's a little too old. All right, we got Melman and Gloria from Madagascar. For some reason, I always imagined Gloria as more of that husky type of build. She has the, you know, big bottom. She just like, she makes a statement. Melman, he always reminds me of that tall basketball player that can't catch a ball. I know, he was just very lanky and scrawny. Let's see what they would look like as human beings. Oh, okay. Very close. I think Melman should have been a little taller though. But Gloria, that's a glorious booty. I did not just say that. I think Gloria could have been a little thicker. It would have fit a little more, maybe a little chubbier. But other than that, I think it nailed it very well well so i give this one an eight and a half what's next oh my god sloth that is hilarious i can't wait to see what he would look like as a human being ah <laughs> okay so they definitely nailed the female rabbit and the fox i think they nailed that the sloth 100 percent. i give this a nine and a half let's go back to the original okay this one's absolutely great that's so funny he looks so he looks so hot and slow you're just like yeah dudes what do you want next we got spongebob squarepants i think this is one of the hardest characters to reimagine as a human being and let's see how accurate it actually was ah oh, f i can't do that ah, ah. okay that is just cringe Oh, oh, Spongebob, same gath, same gath, same gap in his teeth, gath. That's right, brain, good job. Same gap in his teeth as the animated character, same cheek freckles. I don't know, like everything is almost the same, same hairstyle, he didn't have hair. He has that spongy, wavy hair. Mr. Krabs, no. I need to be a SpongeBob. SpongeBob in general, just like a very cheerful, slightly nerdy teenager. More like, like, yeah, he was like a teen and that's a great depiction. I give this one a nine and a half. It was very well done. Let's see what Donkey looks like as a human. I mean, definitely black hair. I think lighter skin tone. I'm just trying to guess right now before we even get into it. No, it's, it's hard for me to read. I'm not as good as the person who made all these drawings. All right, you guys ready? Let's find out. Oh, that's not bad at all. So they gave him more of a tan skin tone. Kind of looks like a biker dude, like a chill biker dude he even has a tattoo okay this one i don't think is as accurate i think the face is nailed very well larger jaw structure but like i, I don't know i think this is crazy i would give this an eight out of ten i still think it's very accurate okay let's do goofy as the last one and maybe i'll have an episode two to this if you guys really enjoy it we got goofy here why, why do i try and goofy as a human i just think he's gonna be lanky just like i uh, forgot his name already just like the giraffe he's gonna be lanky skinny goofy head tilts forward a little bit 
just like that. Oh, they actually give him a mustache. Yo, why does he kind of look southern in a way? Like a goofy southern guy that plays the ukulele. I give this a nine. I think it's pretty well. No, I don't like, honestly, I don't think the mustache was necessary. If there was no mustache, it would probably be like a nine and a half to a 10. But guys, that's gonna wrap it up. These are absolutely amazing. If you wanna check them out, everything's gonna be in the description down below. Hope you guys enjoy this. Go check out another video. Click that circle subscribe here for an episode two if you guys enjoyed this. Or check out my gaming channel as well. There's great videos that I know you guys are gonna enjoy. But with that being said, I'll see you guys next time with more episodes of Reaction Time. Hope you guys have a great one and peace out.